So we've got an next opponent of Tracheon, Venusaur, Tokol, Hovenite, Mimikyu, and Charizard. Okay, well, we'll go with Cinders up top. Um, go Sin, Tyranitar, and... We're going to bring for our last one. Well, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. As always, really appreciate the support, mate. Um, hmm, what is our last Pokemon going to be? Nappy, thank you so much for the bits, mate. <laughs> the, dude, don't... Only three bits in my account. Well, I appreciate every single one of them, man. That's super nice of you, dude. Thank you so much. Should we go Urshifu, maybe? It's absolutely rubbish against the majority of the team. Actually, it's not bad against, like, nah, it is really bad. It's really bad. Um, Amoongus could be good for sleeping stuff, but I think maybe the redirection is probably going to come in a bit more handy overall. And then at least Togekiss is like one of those Pokemon. If we don't need it, we can use it as fodder. Poor, poor Togekiss. And Darkrai, I battled against Ally Switch Cinderace today. <laughs> not playing Pokemon for the rest of the day. <laughs> I think I'd do the same, mate. <laughs> but you know, if they limit it to just like fast Pokemon or like Pokemon that could use it, utilize it, then I think it would it would be all right. And Modre based coaching Cinderace with Gudra really caught me off guard. I've seen that. That is that is fire. I think that's really good. I like. I really like coaching on Cinderace. It gives you the option to have like a protect when you're max as well. Because I think running the four attacks, it's a one drawback if you're maxed and you kind of commit to that. Then. Uh, it's really difficult to kind of get around that afterwards, isn't it? Um, hmm. Let's just see, I've missed all that animation. We are minus one, aren't we? Yeah, there we are. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. I mean, we could bounce. We're not really going to be gaining much. Um. I really want to try and get Titar onto the field as soon as possible, really. Um, I'm going to bring Titar in and I'm going to go for a parting shot into the Charizard. This is where the Pyro Ball would come in super clutch against stuff like Corviknight, which you're kind of like almost makes Cinderace a little bit like useless against it. Chargon, big, bad, and ugly. Okay, so it's going to Tailwind. Don't mind seeing that too much. And there's the Estuary. Just making sure it's outspeeding us at every step of the way. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, one of the options I tried over the weekend, and it was actually really good, right? And let me explain before <laughs> you jump the gun. But I was playing Weakness Policy in Cinerol, um, particularly for Corvid Knight and for Venusaur, because Venusaur in front of Incineroar is never going to sleep out or anything because of the threat of the fake out. They're going to max. So you will allow, like, allow them to max. They normally go for the, the uh, ground you into you, or the ground, even you know, max quick, and then from there, um, yeah, we'll bring in kiss, um, and then from there, you can knock it out in one hit, even if the sun's not up, which is pretty good. It's pretty good, it played all right, but then I, I kind of just missed the support roll more, uh, than that, so yeah, um, all right, that's I wonder if they're body press or not. Charles bound to bound to bound to bound to bound to bound to protect. Has to protect. It's gonna go wildfire here, isn't it? I think. That's what I'd imagine it to do. I mean we could max. We've got decent enough protection. I don't think they go body press here. I'm more concerned about the Corviknight as well, to be honest. Um We could just protect Togekiss, get around this turn. All ghost type Pokemon that have been released or in sword. Um, 
No, nah, Dragapult's in life both, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. And well, I believe if Kitesh made the first final with Weaver's Blossom Snow. Did he? Wow. I really need to watch Players Cup. I've watched like a few games. Literally. It's so bad. Just had no time to like catch up on stuff. There's the big bird coming out and there's the pack spire. That's not bad. That ain't so bad. Um, they definitely got body press. They got body press Brave Bird. So. Weird that the Corviknight's actually faster than the the, teeth, uh, the Charizard as well. I like the Charizard I'm really not that concerned about at all. Uh, I am going to follow me this her no because I feel like they may go for that body press here. Kutesh makes some absolutely mad teams though doesn't he? He's, uh, he's very innovative. He's such a good player. Okay so there's the, the big bird coming out. Another airstream. This Charizard is desperate to keep that speed advantage going. Uh, but at least now, like, we get the Corva Knight, which is good. Um, we do lose Togo Kiss, but I feel like Togo Kiss at this point has kind of done its job, so hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us later on in this match. Like, ideally now, we want to try and get this T-Tiles weakness policy prop. Got to worry a little bit about the Venusaur coming in, but I guess we do have Cinder and we do have Incineroar. Uh, it'll just depend if we see something like Torkoal pop up. I mean, this isn't, a, it's not great. It's definitely not great, to be honest. Um, Intimidate drop is nice. You can definitely nuke the Charizard this next turn. Um, say even behind the protect. We'll go for the rock fall. And we will go for that fake out. They don't have anything like Indeedy to bring in, so we should be all right at the minute, I think. Um, and I'd imagine that the Venusaur is the last Pokemon. So between between Cinderace and Incineroar, hopefully oh, we're going to be all right. Watch this be a rare. Oh no, I just thought this could be beat up Charizard. It could have beat up as it's like fourth move. We could be totally walking into a trap here. <laughs> Because that's why it's so concerned about getting all those speed boosts, just to make sure that whatever happens... Oh, this would be really bad. This would be really bad if it is beat up. Okay, it's not. That's good. Let's watch your stats. That's fine. Okay. Got the charty. Is this gonna... I don't know if you take this. We're not even intimidated. I wonder if it's worth sacking uh, Taranitar now, just to get... Okay. Okay, it's Torko. Hmm. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably quite happy going... Um... Superpower. And parting shot into Torkoal. 
he's going to be able to take one. Well, he could take two down if he goes close combat into NC. Actually, I don't know if the close combat minus one takes NC down. So if he goes for that, then he loses Terrakion. So I think you've got to go close combat into Terrakion. And then when, as long as, okay, they're going rock slide. Okay. Fishing for those flinches. Get the parting shot, which is always going to be good, at least when we get in Cinderace back onto the field. And as long as Tito doesn't flinch here, we'll get the, well, we should get the Terrakion. Maybe not minus one, but it'll be very close. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Is Scyther viable because of Rillaboom right now? Um, yeah, Scyther is going to find it. It's, it's all the Sun teams. I think that Scyther finds it really difficult. Really difficult. Um, yeah, I think Scyther's good for sure, but I don't know if it's like that great right now. I think there's probably better options. Uh, I think we're going to keep Tito, bring NC in, and. Hmm, what do we go? Let's go for an iron head. Nah, um, let's go for a bounce. Go for a bounce. Bouncy bounce. Okay, so we've got a bit of a different sun team. We've got all the sun here. We've got nine tails, Kanto nine tails. We've got Venusaur, Urshifu, Charizard, Mimikyu, and Torkoal. So we've definitely got a trick room mode with that Mimikyu here uh, to support the likes of Torkoal. Very fast defensive mod though with that Venusaur and the Ninetales. Um, I think we're going to be alright here though. I think we got NC Cinderace. We have to be a bit careful with that Urshifu of course, but we'll alright. And I think, mm, yeah, we go Total Kiss. I think these four kind of picked themselves from, a, from a, our end. And Sock Golem, your experiment at the moment with PZ in your last slot right now. I hope the testing's going well, man, but PZ is just disgusting. It's a good reason to play it. Well, why do you think I'm playing PZ? <laughs> PZ and Amoongus. And Nappy, saving points for Blindfold the Battle. That would be amazing. I would, uh, I look forward to doing that. That'd be good. <laughs> No, I reckon PZ was your first slot, Will. Definitely not the last one. Okay, we've got Charizard, we've got Urshifu coming up for my opponent. Uh, okay, I really need to remember. Every one of my YouTube videos has been amazing and been like, that's the Urshifu that it is. That's how you can tell. And I'm like, okay, it's a Darth Bion one. That's that's better, I guess, for us. I fear the, I fear the, um, the water one. Is it scarf though, or is it sashed? I don't really like wasting a fake out into it, but I just don't want to take like ridiculous crit damage just for the fact that it will maybe outspeed Cinderace. Uh, okay, okay, we get baited hard, good and hard there. Toko coming in, there's the sun. Uh, not ideal, especially if they blast burn into Cinderace. But we do have the kind of fallback where we are. We are so blessed, so it does help us a bit. Abby13, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream of this all. Darkfire, imagine if someone has infinite points. Let's hope that never happens, dudes. Just be like. 24 hour karaoke would be the most hideous thing at all. Like, we'd have no viewers. <laughs> There'd be no viewers at all. Imagine, easy way to tell is of ribbons. I know everyone keeps telling me, and I'm like, thank you so much for telling me. And then, I, like, half an hour later, I'm like, which one was it? So, ribbons are filled up with horizontal, it's water. Okay, that makes, that makes sense. I'm gonna <laughs> ask me in half an hour as well, I forgot. Strides VGC, thanks for joining us tonight and uh, thanks for the follow as well, my friend. Hope you enjoy the stream with us all. 
Well, I complained for years about Mega Genghis Khan, and I'm like, lol, Dynamite PZ. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. It's probably PZ, probably worse. Although, I don't know, no. No, I think, like, Power Punch Mega Kang is pretty bust. Like, yeah, it was nuts, I think. Okay, let's see how well this Assault Vest takes it. In the sun, solar power, that's not... It's not bad. It's not bad. It really isn't. Um, okay, well... Residual damage isn't so good, but I think all we can do is, I don't think Charizard's like, the problem is here, I don't really want to go for an air, well I can't, I think I've got to go Airstream into Torkoal because I don't want to take a Burning Jealousy and get burnt. That's the big thing, so we'll go for that, we'll go for that one again. And Ryojita, thank you so much for the, uh, there we go, you see. Uh, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all. Uh, the only good thing to come out of this would be just reducing the damage onto the Charizard and getting a Tito onto the field. Oh, we're probably going to lose Cinderace though. Definitely. The King Max. The King has arrived. Thank you so much for the follow, Max. Hope you're well and I hope you enjoy the stream with us all tonight. Okay, so we do get a parting shot out onto the Zard. Uh, we'll get T-Tor in. <clears throat> Mr. Johnny Hacks is in the building. How are you doing, Johnny? I hope you're well. <laughs> Enjoying the new emotes. <laughs> Johnny over the moon with them. All right, there's the airstream. He's been into Incineroar. Nah. I mean, we take it. Like, the Assault Vest pulling through there. Hopefully, we can take the sand and the, the, the blast burn damage. Because this puts my opponent in a really tricky spot now because yeah we're gonna take it because now we can nail the talk hole which has got to switch out and whatever comes in either could be the venusaur or could be the issue Santi 254 thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight johnny i'm pleased you like the new emotes mate it's uh it's great to have you on the stream with us tonight we are continuing with the bunny squad tonight so hopefully we can get somewhere with it i've been furiously testing different things with it all weekend um because i really wanted to work i really wanted to work and we are playing around with assault vest cinderace tonight which is actually really surprisingly good i really enjoy it john vgc how are you doing mate i hope you're well thanks for hopping in and joining us tonight Hope you've had. I hope we've all had a good weekend. Whatever you were up to, guys. Okay, so we get rid of the top hole, which is which is amazing because, well, I say I was about to say because their weather is gone now, but their weather is not gone because they probably more than likely got nine tails lurking in the back. But we will be able to get rid of the Charizard <laughs> unless it busts out this. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's fine. That is so weak. <laughs> and this this is really, yeah, that's fine. That's super fine. Okay, Procanine weakness policy. The slide just destroying the Charizard, which is great. And we do have plus one uh, T-Tar right now, which is great. Probably going to lose Cinderace right now, unfortunately, due to the um, the sand and the, uh, the, the the blast burn damage. But that's that's okay. Oh, that's what I needed to do actually, wasn't it? Um, I need to... Um, what are we bringing in? I think Incineroar isn't a bad option here. Just for Intimidate, fake out pressure as well. Um, and then we can kind of assess what's happening. We got Togekiss in the back. Depending on what they got, we may need to switch Tita out and back in again. But we also may not need to either. Okay, it's Urshifu. Ah. I think we're going to be all right. I think the fact that we've got... Um... Okay. Not worried about the Urshifu at all. I'm going to rock slide. Like I say, I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about it knocking out either of these, but I do have Togekiss in the back. Um, where are you gonna go? It's minus one as well. Let's fake out the Urshifu. 
I think it's Scarf the Urshifu, so I think we definitely get that. The Venusaur goes for Energy Ball. Can we take it? Nah, we're not fat enough. We're not fat enough. Okay. Intensity Hydra, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all. Um, okay. I don't know why I was just mindlessly staring into a void there. I'm just trying to work out what's the best way of going about this. Because NC is NC should take. Actually, NC will take. Um I wonder if it's better if we just protect Toga Kiss and Flare Blitz the Venusaur. Because we should take a close combat from Urshifu. We know it's a dark fighting one. It's minus one. Unless it's like bat. Okay, we're gonna see rock slide. The flinch might not be so good for us. It is locking into that though, so it is it's locked. Venusaur goes for the sleep out. It's going for the sludge bomb. So if, as long as that uh, flare blitz hits. Yay! This should take the Venusaur down. Okay, perfect. And now uh we've just gotta get around these scarf rock slides. Which is always fun. <laughs> but if we can get like at least one parting shot off onto the ocean I think we're gonna be alright. I think we'll be alright. I've seen games fall apart from worse situations than this though, so we can't just assume that we're gonna win. Rock slide is a strong win con. <laughs> Look at that rookie D mod. Damn. Be Kingpin, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight, mate. I hope you enjoy this next game with us. We got Ninja up next playing Whimsicott, Trakion, Togekiss, Incineroar, Gastrodon, and Venusaur. Interesting that we not got the Venusaur with the Torkoal, but I, I'm kind of guessing that there may be Sunny Day on Whimsicott, potentially, or maybe they just haven't got it at all. Um, definitely beat up in here that is very scary with the whimsical terrakion so it's definitely something we need to watch out for ai and sorry 26 thank you so much for the follow and for joining us um i mean the one thing that i can say like incineral cinderace is a nice is a nice place there it's just uh, i'm gonna need redirection Yeah, Togek is good, and then I think Amoongus as well, you know, it just leaves us a little bit short offensively. Um, although we could max Togek is. Okay. Just the Gastrodon kind of worries me. If we bring Tito, Gastrodon becomes a little bit more of an issue, and Amoongus can do some work here, I think. Ah. Uh... And Benzo one does revenge boost if an ally hurts you. I'd imagine so. I'd imagine that's like what I'm get. Uh, that's what I'm guessing the Tito's going for. A bit like Lash Out. So Lash Out definitely goes double damage if you kind of like if you bulldoze that turn. So I'd imagine revenge kind of acts in a similar way. So you've got like both outlets then, which is really smart. I've not seen revenge play on uh, weakness policy Tito, but it makes a lot of sense. Um, And the double that like 120 base fighting attack it's not bad without any drawbacks as well like it's not like superpower or close combat or anything where you're i know it doesn't learn close combat but you're not getting the um the drawbacks of uh the max here gonna fall into this trap where they i think you know what i'm gonna do i actually think i'm gonna go or i'm not gonna fall for this trap i'm gonna bring in to <sighs> no i'm gonna bring in toga kiss now i think they have to protect or switch out the, the whimmy i don't think they go for beat up right now um i'm gonna go steel spike into the toga kiss i should probably airstream here but okay, incineral coming in makes sense i'm so twitchy around whimsicott 
when I know there's a Terrakian potentially in the back. Like that team preview pressure alone that those two just put on is just horrendous. It's like if they get set up, it's like GG. There's nothing you can do. And <laughs> Mick dictates so much of how you play. And Benzo One, thank you so much for the follow, mate. I hope you have been enjoying the stream with us tonight. And Stu, double shiny fire starters, and you know what Pinko would say. I know, dude. Yeah. If you haven't, he pung his hair out. No, I've never been the biggest fan of like shiny Incineroar, but. Um, I've been using Incineroar a lot, so it was one of the the uh, the definite the shinies that I did want. So I did grind to get this one. Uh, I did get a Blaze one before I got the Intimidate, which was a bit frustrating. But yeah, it was the the, the one after that. The grind was it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like Rillaboom or Politod. Politod was the worst. I got like three shiny Drizzle Pokemon. It was just a nightmare. Is this weakness policy Togekiss? He's done me. Wow, okay. That's way more than what I expected it to be. And it's a crit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's a bit unfortunate for my opponent. There's the airstream. Okay, that's fine. I think I need to start airstreaming myself, to be honest. I think the Togekiss, huh? You max guard now? I think, like, there's, there's always a question over your head whether it max guards or not right now. And we know that Incineroar can't max guard, so, or protect, or ever really carries any of those things. So it's a lot safer just going into this slot. Um, and then it kind of puts us in the driving seat if the, the Togekiss does go for the max guard. It doesn't look like it's going to, though. It looks like it's just going to attack. I'll probably go for another airstream, to be honest. <gasps> oh, Max Flare. We are a salt fest, so that does definitely help us out. <laughs> that is rough. Okay, but thankfully we are going to be able to get a speed boost. Hopefully take what the Incineroar throws out at us. Should have just fallen me there. I didn't expect the Max Flare. You're not seeing it too often. I would have thought Max Flare on maybe Weakness Policy Set, but it's not something you see too often now. And there's the Flare Blitz. Wow, that does so much damage. Um, now the Togek is probably Max Guards. Um, I'm just going to Max Airstream again into NC. And we'll just go for Follow Me. Because I think the Togekiss goes Max Guard now. Either goes Max Guard or Airstream, I think. Pinko. <laughs> so Pinko, do you not own any shiny Pokemon at all? And if you get a shiny by any chance or luck, do you just throw it away? <laughs> okay, so we'll get this Max. This Airstream. It's the last turn of our Max. Uh, we would have been better probably just go and dazzle here with our own toga case to get rid of the incineral. But I think with the, the, the sun boost here, probably... T oh no, it's got the berry. Less it, unless it goes parting shot. No, let's... Okay, this is fine. So I think our Togekiss is plus two now, they're plus one, so we should outspeed them. Um, yeah, we're plus two, and there, uh, yeah, just plus one. So yeah, we can just dazzle without much risk here, and uh, I know where we have to high jump kick, really. I don't think anything else is going to be able to take down the Incineroar. Well, maybe, maybe Iron Head, maybe Iron Head and a dazzle. And the nice thing about the only reason I wanted the plus two here was uh, on Cinderace. Like why I felt it was so important was just because if the Terrakion comes in, wow, it's Venusaur. So there's no Terrakion. There's no reason to worry about um, Beat Up. Okay. 
That's good. Uh, it was just because that, like, if Whimsicott decides to set up the Tailwind, then we don't need to worry too much about that because then we're still going to outspeed with with Cinderace. Uh, so the sun up now. What's Pinko saying? Is he responded? What's he said? You wonder trade them. <laughs> you wonder trade your shinies. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> Never known a man hit shinies so much in my life. <laughs> okay, so Incy coming in now gets the Intimidate onto us. It does have that fake out pressure as well, which isn't great. Uh, and the problem is that we don't have Protect on uh, Cinderace, so it makes it a little bit difficult for us to, to move around this, but thankfully we do have safety goggles in C in the back that we can just bring in. And if they do decide to start sleep powdering stuff, at least that Incineroar is in a, in a good position now where it can, um, can really pressure what's left on my opponent's side of the field with the Whimsicott in the back. Um, probably got its sash intact. <laughs> Still got to be careful around potential Earth Power here from Venusaur, but I don't know if you... Well, you may risk it this turn when you can fake out the Toggle Kiss, stop the redirection, and go into um, Cinderace. But I think you fake, you have to fake out Cinderace here. I don't think you leave it alone. So there's a possibility it goes Sludge Bomb into the, the Toggle Kiss if it doesn't double into our Incineroar slot now. Is it? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna see if Flare Blitz maybe. Ooh, okay. That's a small play from my opponent. Hmm. It's kind of wasteful as well from us because we're plus two with Cinderace at that point. Uh, they're really taking advantage and knowing that we're like the fake out would be. A little bit too awkward for us. Um, how many turns of sun have we got left? One. They're going to tailwind with Wimmy, I think. The thing is, how fast is this Venusaur, do you reckon? It's not light bulb. This Togekiss might actually outspeed it. Um, I think we air slash and we could double Wimmy to be honest. I think that's the play. Did I lock it in? Hopefully I did. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we get the the Wimmy here. Stop that that tailwind. Rocky Five, thank you so much for the follow and thanks for the hydration, my friend. Hopefully I locked in in time. Yeah, and hopefully this is, wow, that's a fat, I think this is a fat Amoongus. Uh, fat, <laughs> fat Amoongus, it's a fat Whimsicott. Not that fat though. Okay, that's huge for us. Sun ends now. We can just protect our Togekiss. Uh, the sun will end and we're gonna be able to get the Venusaur. We just need to get around this fake out from the Incineroar that's come onto the field. <sighs> okay, okay. So close, like clicking in just there. It, that was like really, <laughs> that was too close. I left it too long. I nearly called for the timer emote. Uh, let's bring little Olamungus onto the field while we still got him. It's a close one, too close. Too close for comfort, this one. I think, are we even going to see a fake out? My opponent might not even go for it. Nah, Sludge Bomb. Okay. Man, just doubling into the Amoongus as well. Wow, brutal. Uh, I mean... Let's just bring in Cinderace. I 
I just need to double check the Togekiss is definitely still, 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 yeah, still plus two, that's all right, okay. Yeah, there's the air slash, and we'll just go for, go for that high jump kick. And this should lock it up. Come on, guy. The air slash. Whew, you do hit. I didn't even want to talk about it there. I'm like, if air slash misses, we're screwed. <laughs> we just lose, I think. Come on, Cinder. Don't let the team down. Don't let the squad down. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so if you do try it out um, and you come on future streams, do let me know how you got on with the team. Uh, I'd love to hear uh, what you think about it and how it's played, but it's pretty solid and we've had a good showing of it tonight, I feel. So there it is, my friends. Hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, again, we'll be streaming on Wednesday, so hope I see you then. If you try the team out, I hope you enjoy it. I'll look forward to hearing about it, hopefully on Wednesday. And if not, then uh, I hope to see you on the stream on Wednesday. Uh, so take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time of day it is. Be kind to each other and I'll see you all for the next one. Let's, let's raid Mr. Eeks right now. Let's go for it, okay? Come on, let's see how many we can get in here. Come on. Come on, guys. We've got to do it. Okay, we're getting up there. Yes, come on. 50. Can we get any more? <laughs> Looks like we're going in with 50 of you guys, but thank you so much. Um, have a great evening, friends, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.